Hello, I'm Kay from the Spectre team and in this video we will be editing the about page of our website. Now this video is part of a course organized in a playlist, which you will find a link in the description below. And if you want to get the most out of it, I strongly encourage you to follow this course in the exact order the videos are organized in the playlist. Now in order to help you complete this project, you find the link in the description of this video where you can download the course files. Now this course is free and even if you don't have web hosting, you can either use ZipWP or use a local solution like Local by Flywheel for example. But if you want to take your website to the next level with awesome features like advanced animations, Instagram integrations and much much more, consider using Spectre Pro and of course you find a link in the description below. Now like I mentioned, you can complete the course project with free tools alone and what we're going to do in this video is no exception. But as a bonus today, I will also show you how to integrate your Instagram feed in just a couple of clicks with Spectra Pro. Now as you may recall at the beginning of this course, we imported a ready-made website with the starter templates plugin. This ready-made website came with the home page, the about page, the services page and the contact page. And today we're editing the about page so that it matches our brand and our content. Ready? So let's get started. So first of all, you want to go to pages, all pages. And then here I'm going to hover over home, right click on edit and choose open link in a new tab. And the reason we open it in the new tab is just it's going to make things way easier. You see why in a moment. So let me navigate to the new tab with the home page. I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to select the last container here. You want to be sure, open the document overview and you can do it from here. So I'm going to click on the three dots and hit copy. Next, let me close this tab and go back to the pages tab. And this time I'm going to hover over about and then where you see edit, I'm going to right click and one more time, click on open link in a new tab. Now let me just open the about tab and the first thing we're going to do is to paste the container we just copied from the home page at the bottom of this page. So for that I'm going to click on the document overview icon, select the third container, then click on the three dots, add after and now I'm just going to paste what I just copied and there you go. Next let's click on update to save our work. And if you've been following the previous videos in this course, you know that one of the first things we do on a new page is to rename containers for organization purposes. So for that, open the course files, then go in the text subfolder, and we're going to open the 02-about text file. So let's select the text for the first container, copy. Then with the first container selected, click on the three dots, rename, paste, and save. Now let's repeat the operation for the second container, copy, second container, three dots, rename, paste, and save. Now let's repeat the operation for the third container, copy, and you know the drill now, third container, three dots, rename, paste, and save. All right, let's click on update to save our work. Now let's go back to our page header container. Then in the general tab, where you see minimum height, you want to change the unit to VH and change the value to 85. Now let's close the document overview panel so that we have a better view. Next, click on the style tab, change image, and we're going to select this image right here. Next, click on select. And now still in the style tab, let's scroll down. And where you see overlay type, you want to select gradient. Now for the first color, you can pick pretty much any color you want and just drag the opacity slider to the left so that it's completely transparent. And don't worry, it's totally going to make sense in a moment. Now for the second color, I'm going to click here and this time we're going to use our color number four. Now let's close this. Let me scroll down and for the overlay opacity, you want to change it to 0, 0,8. Eight. All right, so this is going to help us with our menu. If you recall, in the previous video, we talked about that. So now, no matter which image you use, our menu is going to be visible. All right, so now let's move on to our second container, which is the presentation container. Next, let's go back to our text file, and I'm just going to copy this text, and we're going to paste it here. Now, let's repeat the operation for the text here below the image. So let's copy the text for 
our mission and let's paste it here. And now let's copy the text for our values and let's paste it right here. All right, let's scroll back up. Now let me click on this image, click on change image. And this time we're going to pick this image right here and click on select. Next, still with our image selected, click on the style tab and where you see radius, let's give it a value of five pixels all around. Because if you recall, we're trying to keep some brand consistency. We already did that on the home page. So that's the way we do it now here on the about page. Now let's click on update to save our work. All right, let's move on to the next container. So first of all, let's select our image here, then go to general, change image, and we're going to pick this image right here. Next, click on select. And next, let's go back to our text file and I'm going to copy the testimonial text. Then let's go back, select the text we want to change and just paste. Next, click on the style tab. Let's collapse this and let's open the title sub tab. And for the color, we're going to pick color number six. Next, let me close this. Let's collapse the title sub tab and let's open the description sub tab. Now for the color, this time let's pick color number nine. All right, let's close this. Let's click on update to save our work. And now if we preview our page, there it is. We got our hero section, our text is changed as well as the image. We have our testimonial and our call to action banner that we copied from the homepage. But as I mentioned in the intro of this video, I'm going to give you a little bonus. If you're using Spectra Pro, we're going to integrate our Instagram feed. So back in our dashboard, first of all, you want to go to plugins, add new plugin, click on upload plugin. Next, click on choose file. Next, select the Spectra Pro zip file, click on open and click on install now. Next, click on activate plugin, paste your license key and click on activate. Next, go to blocks extensions, pro, and make sure Instagram feed is toggled on. Next, open a new tab and go to instagram.com and make sure you log in. Now I'm already logged in. So once you've done the same, just go back to your dashboard, then back to pages, all pages, and click on edit the about page. Or if you already left it open in another browser tab, then just go to that browser tab. All right, so let me scroll down and let me open the document overview panel. Now I'm going to select the last container, then click on the plus sign and select container. Let me pick this one. And first of all, with my new container selected, let me go to style spacing and I'm going to give it a padding of 60 pixels all around. Now let me click on the plus sign here. I'm going to type heading and the first one in black here is from the WordPress core. The second one with the blue outline is from Spectra. So that's the one we want to use. So let me click on it. And I'm just going to change this by follow us. And next, let me click on the plus sign. I'm going to start typing Insta. And as you can see, we have this Spectra Pro block here. So let me click on it. And we see this prompt link an Instagram account from the Spectra dashboard. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on update. And then I'm going to click on this link here, Spectre dashboard, and it opened a new browser tab. So here I can either link my Instagram accounts, my personal account, or I can enable developer mode to link to someone else's account. But I'm going to link my personal account. And since I'm already logged in Instagram in the same browser, it's going to be a breeze. So click on link a personal account, click on allow, and there you go, account linked. Now let's go back to our about page and I'm just going to refresh. Now let me scroll down, click on select a user. I'm going to select the only user on my personal account. And there you go. We've easily linked our Instagram account, which is super awesome for an about page. So let's click on update and let's review our final masterpiece. So we got our beautiful hero section, introduction text, the image, our mission, our values, testimonials. We got our call to action banner and we have our Instagram feed right here. Well, actually it would make more sense to put it before the call to action banner. 
Let me open the document overview. I'm just going to collapse this container and actually I'm going to rename it. So let's call it Insta. Let's click on save. And then I'm just going to drag and drop it in between the two containers, testimonial and call to action banner. Now let me click on update. And once again, let's preview our page. Now let's scroll down and yeah, much better. That is one more thing we can do if we take a look. The title here is on the left hand side. And if you check the rest of the page, everything is centered. So let's do this with our heading selected. Let's select alignment center. Click on update. And for the final time, let's take a look. Let's scroll down. And yes, way better. So as you can see, with the help of the imported ready-made website, as well as the course files, building the about page was a breeze. And in the next video, I will show you how we can build the services page. <laughs>